Dividing people into categories is the mind's way of trying to make sense of the world around us. Yet the simplicity of stereotypes can be completely misleading. The trouble with older people, they're off sick all the time. If you haven't made it by 30, you're over the hill. Young people just don't have the stamina. There are lots of stereotypes about workers of all ages and some of the um, persistent ones about younger people are things like younger people are drunk. They don't, you know, they, they go out drinking on a Sunday night and they don't come into work on a Monday or they go out on a Thursday night and they take Fridays off. So there's duvet days and all sorts of things. Um, also, the assumption about younger workers is they just don't have the staying power and they don't have the work ethic. And that's particularly persistent about British younger workers. There's a common stereotype around now that you don't want a British young person working for you because they really don't work very hard. About older workers, there's probably even more persistent stereotypes that they uh, take more time off sick, that they don't want to train, that you can't teach an old dog new tricks, um, that they're very bad on technology and don't develop their skills in technology. And of course, the problem is that some of these stereotypes are true about some people um, in each of those age groups. But it's very, very hard to find a normal 50-year-old or a normal 20-year-old. In fact, you know, there's some 20-year-olds who are very good workers, very efficient, and some 50-year-olds who are actually never off sick. It, it's not about age at all. Young people are just so unreliable. Younger people do tend to take more individual days off sick. Older people, because they're more prone to serious ill health, um, if they do get health problems, will take will have more long-term absence. But the fact is that we're talking about individuals. You're not talking about uh, groups of people. And you can't assume that because you have older employees, they're all going to take long-term sick leave. From a commercial point of view, it's a lot easier for us to resource and cover an absence if it's for a longer period than it is for us to try and cover for lots of people taking single days off at a time. Young people have no experience of the real world. I wouldn't say that being young means you don't have experience. I'm not old myself, but I've got plenty of experience relevant to my current role. If employers think like that, then we're never going to get experience. Um, so we need people to give us the opportunity to get that experience. Um, and even if we don't have work experience, we still have life experiences. Um, you know, my primary socialisation with my family and my work, that's given me experience. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be experience at work. Older people are short of breath and are creakier at the knees. Well, again, nonsense. Um, some people do get arthritis of the knees as they get older. Shortness of breath, well, that's more to do with physical fitness than it is to do with, with age. And if people actually keep themselves reasonably um, fit by taking reasonable amounts of exercise and things like that, that's not going to be a problem for most people. Older workers get stuck in their ways. For older workers, some of the assumptions are even more negative. So what we find is that older workers tend to stagnate or can stagnate. There's a real risk of that. And they find themselves in a job by the time they're in their late 40s. No one wants to invest in them in terms of training. People aren't thinking about them as for promotion opportunities. And they tend to get stuck in what becomes a dead end job where they're not developing, they're not engaged. And then retirement seems like the only option for them. Whereas in fact, if they'd have been developed a bit more, they wouldn't have stagnated. So the stereotypes are really negative.